All right, what are we doing here? What is this screencast going to be about? Um, tens of making left with Lego. Yeah, well, we, well, we're playing, we're even making tens, we're just playing because we did a lot more than make tens. Mm -hmm. Right, what do we do? Play with Play Doh and make stuff. And make stuff? Was it fun? Mm hmm. Okay, that's the idea. The idea is to have fun first, math second. Okay, so like here, we just rolled it out, and we got a 10 there, and you cut out a 5 just for the fun of it. So what's 10 minus a 1? 9. 9. And then over here, I don't know what we had. I think we had... We had a 10. I know we had a 10, but what were these two? This was a 6 and a 4, or maybe it was a 5 and a 5, I don't remember. Anyway, it's but just making add-ins. What were the 6? And six. then here is Rooster Boy uh, rolling out some Play-Doh, and we had two of them mixed together. And there's a seven. Mm -hmm. Right? Six. Seven. We got these two guys were playing on each side of the table. One guy was playing with the yellow clay and one guy was playing with the other clay. So no, there's a seven with a four and a three. And mm -hmm. there again, add ins. And why are we doing it this way? Just because it's fun. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. not, not, no particular reason. There's no special benefit to using, you know, clay. But we're just having fun and learning math at the same time. You'll see later that it can be pretty fun and, and uh, instructional when it comes to multiplication and fractions. Anyway, so there he is pressing out a 10, and then cutting out some 10s, and generally just playing around, and then look, oh, there's a 10, and 10 is the same thing as what? And this one? Um, 6 and 4. 6 and 4 makes 10. Uh-huh. I cut... And then there's the... There's the rooster boy, I cut 8 out. Yeah, cut a bunch of 10s out, right? Cut eight of them out. And then we chop those up and anyway, just had fun. Counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 20. 100. And there's another combination for 10 being stamped out. <laughs> and here, G, what are you doing? Mm, cutting play out. Yeah. What number are you trying to make? Just making an eyebrows of a dinosaur wax. You're making eyebrows? Mm -hmm. No, what are you doing here? Um, what number were you making? I wasn't making any number. Yeah, you were. You were making ones, remember? I wasn't making a number. Just okay, a watch. What's that? A one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but that's how he was making it. Punch him out and then mold him out. And anyway, there, there's a one. Okay, so there's a bottle that we used and a card to do our work, Cuts. right? This this right here can you be instead of a rolling pin, just use a bottle to get it flat. And watch this. This gets to be pretty fun. So then we cut out a square. That was you. Yes, that was you. Whose hand is that? Mine. <laughs> okay, so now we got like a nice piece of cheese right there. Right? But actually, it's a, it's a piece of clay. And uh, then we can cut it up using a four. And look at that. How many is that in that square? Um, four, eight, mm -hmm. twelve, sixteen. Sixteen in that, right? And we could do some fractions with that, right? Mm -hmm. Or we could say I have one of four. And you'll see this later. I, I took pictures later. And that's the same thing as four of sixteen. There's some equivalent, equivalent fractions going on there. And here we are pulling off one strip. There you go. And then replacing it with the purple ones. So you can see. I can't see Alright. Move over. Okay. Now everybody can see. And we can see that we have one row compared to four different rows. And you notice there's no symbols. No symbols at all yet. We're just talking about it. Right? And later on when they see the symbols, the symbols will make sense. When I show that one-fourth is the same thing as four-sixteenths and so forth. They'll have... Uh, they'll have experience with it. All right, so now what we did is we made it bigger. Right, just cut it bigger. We put the piece back on, actually, and made it bigger. And look, we're just doing surgery and having fun, playing with blocks. So there you are, cutting it up. Mm -hmm. And watching TV at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yep, Okay, so there... What do we have after we peeled off everything and so forth? These are two, four, six. Can you count for me by sixes? Uh -huh. 
Go ahead. Six, mm -hmm. 12, mm -hmm. 18, mm -hmm. 24, mm -hmm. 30, wow. 36. Wow, you did that really well. Yeah. Yeah. I did it this morning too. When we were yep, you that. surprised me, and I'm amazed that you're that you're six. You're counting by sixes is really good. So how many is three sixes then? How many is three sixes? Mm -hmm. Twelve. Try again. How many is three sixes? Watch. Six, twelve, eighteen. No, eighteen, eighteen. There you go. Six, eighteen. How many is five three, sixes? Five sixes. Mm -hmm. Three, six, no. Okay, six, you can count by threes. Twelve. Mm-hmm. 18, mm -hmm. 24, Don't put your fingers um, on your 24, mm -hmm. and then 26, 12, 18, 24, 40. and then after 24 comes 30, mm -hmm. and so 30 five of them, well that's six of them, what's five sixes? 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, correct, 30, okay, see, and you're, how old are you? Five. five. Yeah, see, five I, know, I know a lot of older kids that, that can't do that either. So that's okay. All right, so, but that's the idea, is you learn the patterning, but then understanding that three sixes is 18 and two sixes is 12 and so forth, that takes more work. But the first step is learning the patterns, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and you can count by threes, right? Mm-hmm. And this takes twice as many. From here, from here to here, it's three, and then from here to here, it's six. So three, six, nine, nine, 12, mm -hmm. 15, 18, 24, 27, mm -hmm. 30. Uh-oh, we got, we got messed up. 3, 6, 9. Wait, wait, 7, 8. Okay, well, let's do this. Can you see that this is a row of threes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 3, 6, 9. 12, 15, 18. 21, 24, 27, 30. Oh, no, we were right. 33, 36. Mm -hmm. So you can lose count, though, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes you do. And sometimes you don't. Okay. So there's you goofing around. Uh huh. That's that was. Now we can really see it sixes, right? And we can also see that this is one out of six, right? Mm -hmm. That each row of these we call each row of these one. And we'll do more of that in just a second. And then oh look, there's one out of thirty-six. Yeah. One compared to thirty-six, right? We put some of these guys in and took one of those guys out. Just fooling around, like I said, no no symbols, no they're just getting an idea. What does one thirty six look like? One out of thirty six. That's what that looks like. Oh, there's six out of thirty six. And then we trimmed it down and what do we have here? We have fives. Hey little boy, come over here five, and count. Ten. Stop, let him count. You do it. Count by fives, please. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, forty. Hmm, you need to stop when you get to the end, so do it again. Mm. Alright, go ahead. You got it right, that's a pattern, but here, count. Three, five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. There you go. Okay, right? Two. There's not thirty or forty, there. there's only twenty-five. Mm. Good job. Alright. Little boy's wrestling, stop. Okay. Now we could look at that and put the fives on there and say, look, we really do have... One, two, three, four, five. We could do it that way, right? Cut it up into five parts. And we could say this is one out of five. And this would be two out of two out of five. This would be three out of five, four out of five, and then five out of five because it's the whole thing. Uh, let's see. And then this, not as effective, not as good as playing with the fraction tiles. But can you see now that I flipped one over and now that's two out of ten? Hey, can you count by twos, please? You. 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 Count by twos. Can you count? Mm, Two. Four. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Eight. Mm -hmm. Ten. Done. Right? Easy and that peasy. Easy peasy. Two. Oh, easy. And how old are you? Four. Yeah. Oh, can you count by that. fives? Can you count by threes? Can you count by fours? I can count by all of those. Yes, you can. All the way to twelve and pretty soon all the way to twenty. Okay. Let's do more. And for that, that was too easy for you. That's why I had him do it. Okay. So then, there's their rolling out the thing there. And this is an old phone card that we were using. Remember those phone cards? Okay, and there's just more fooling around. Now we took all the extra and turned it into a glorb, right? And then we're taking these and playing some more with these. 
All right, so then what are we doing there? Um, what are you doing? Playing. I know, but what are you doing with these guys? Crumbling up into a bag. Yeah, and then... Oops. And then we start all over again. Right? Yeah. There's a nice neat one, and we did a whole bunch more, but it, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. The idea is play, and while you're playing, learn some math concepts. Mm -hmm. And the math concepts we learned not just tens, we learned multiplication. We fooled around a little bit with fractions, right? Mm -hmm. And equivalent fractions and so forth, and just discovering what fractions are. We can cut it up and notice how we didn't make pies, but we used rectangles. And just generally played math, had fun. Okay, so where can they go for more information? Good